a WPC MPU, WPC 89 MPU from a Star Trek The Next Generation. And the board was no longer allowing the cabinet, some of the cabinet coin door switches to work. Uh, the root cause of the problem there was some corrosion on this connector, which I'll roll the images in. But um, I replaced this connector with a brand new connector. Good to go. Also, uh, the 339 here, LM339, was corroded, so I replaced it and inspected the traces. They're all good. Let's see, I installed a lower voltage reset generator, replaced this 5 volt filter cap, and replaced this header. Installed NB RAM, and what I always like to do is set these switches to USA 2 so it comes up correctly. So let's put it into test and test the switch edges. Now I'll go across the diagonal and we'll see each switch row and column working. And here are the coin door switches. Let me get rid of that glare. And of course the back switch does that. So all the switches are working correctly can run some solenoid tests just to make sure that they're operating correctly. It's a Star Trek The Next Generation LX7 ROM. So all I really want to make sure is that solenoid 1, 2, and 3 banks are operating correctly. Star Trek The Next Generation also uses a AUX8 driver board in the upper right hand corner of the head. So a number of the coils or flashers could be driven via that device. I know that the um, the gun switches are driven there. Let's make sure that GI is being driven correctly. And it is. Lamps and flashers at the same time. Is driving those devices correctly also so this MPU board is good to look to go I'm gonna wash off the uh, solder flux from the back of it and then get it on back to you thank you so much for sending it